This is KEXP, 90.3 FM, KEXP.org. We're in Mexico City broadcasting live from Panoram Studios in partnership with Normal and kicking off today's live session, a great group from Mexico, Sotomayor. Welcome. Hello. Hola a todos. <laughs> Let's hear some music, please.
nuestra, caballero. Y dice así. Perfume, aroma y silencio. Un eco despierto. Nacen raíces en mi cuerpo. Trazando senderos. Soy agua del río que va fluyendo. Un árbol creciendo. Escucha mi tierra latiendo. Gotas de vida corriendo. Escucha mi tierra latiendo. Gotas de vida corriendo. Live music here on KEXP from Panorama Studios in Mexico City, Sotomayor, sounding awesome today. Thank you very much for coming back to KEXP. Or I guess we brought KEXP to you. Oh, I said thank you for being on K, uh, coming back thank to KEXP, you. and then I was like, actually, I think we yeah, came we to are, you. Yeah, we are really glad to be here again. Um, it's, it's better to be in our town, so. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but we love also Seattle, and we love you guys. And Thank you so and much. And we love the, all the effort that has been put to these sessions. We know that it's an amazing work to be doing this live. I don't know if people is aware that this is live. And it's really hard to do it. So thank you very much for doing it. You're very welcome. We've got a great team thank at you. KEXP, at Panoram, and we've had a lot of great artists. It's, it's really cool. It's hard to put together, but it's definitely well worth it yeah. to spotlight <laughs> some great Mexican sounds. And last time you were on, you hadn't quite released your last full-length record, so it's cool to hear tracks yeah. off of that. And also another one is coming soon. Yeah, in May. It's going to be in May. Very, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we can say too much things, but we are already... Let's say halfway through with the album, we did a lot of new songs, and we are trying to just get the ten songs that we love for this new album, and we expect to have it in May. So I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for coming and joining us. We'd love to hear a few more tracks. Yeah. Soto Mayor live at Panoram Studios live on KEXP.
al mundo sin parar.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Sotomayor live here in Panorama Studios in Mexico City. Really appreciate you kicking off our third day here in fine style. This is KEXP Seattle. This is KEXP Seattle. My name is DJ Chili. We're broadcasting live in Mexico City at Panoram Studios, and we've been featuring some great Mexican bands and just finished up a live performance with one of my faves, Sotomayor. Thank you so much for performing for us today. A great, great oh, session. It, it was Thank great. We have a lot of fun. No, yeah. it, it was an honor for us to, to be the first one with two KXP sessions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From Mexico. <laughs> yeah, from Mexico, from Mexico. <laughs> and what was cool is, uh, since the last time you were here, you had a whole new full length and are working on another, so we got to hear some Yeah, and a, a lot of more get. confident. The first time we were like really nervous. We were <laughs> yeah. outstandingly we nervous. We were sweating. <laughs> yeah, but t today was like pretty fun for us. Cool, that sounded tight. Yeah. It was really great. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. So... Let's go back a record. Okay. Tell me about the last full length and what that was like putting From together. From Conquistador. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it was our second album. Mm -hmm. So I think the second album is really hard for any band because it will tell if you have a future or, or if you're dead. It's, the sophomore it's, record. It's, it's yeah. a really hard album. And it's especially hard if the first one was very good. And I think for us, first one was really good and we had the eyes of everyone not just in Mexico but internationally yeah so putting a second album it's really hard because sometimes you don't know what to do like creatively like should I make a record for the fans and just do the same 10 songs or should I do music that I love and be risky and try to look for a sound and it's kind of hard and I, I think that what we achieved with this album was having a sound, like n now you can listen to a song and you'll say, that's Sotomayor. That's, that, that's hard for anyone. Yeah. And I think in the, in the Mexican scene, we kind of find our, found our place because there are not that much bands that sound like us. I, mm -hmm. I'll say that Mexico has a tradition of rock bands. We are in Panorama, as you can see, it's the biggest studio here in Mexico and it's owned by Zoe. So most of the bands try to go for that sound. Yeah, the, like an alternative, yeah. So it's not that easy for a band that makes electronic music and fuses with cumbia. And, and right now we are living a revolution with reggaeton and with Latin rhythms. And now everyone wants to make trap and just sound like Drake. So it's also hard for us because we are kind of in the middle, but we are, but we are making it true and that makes us really happy. Maybe that's an advantage as well. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's it's how cool we, for us. That's how we want to see it. <laughs> yeah. We do a great job of fusing, like you said, cumbias and electronics um, with a real <clears throat> unique style and Af African rhythms. It's really cool. And I can see the progression in the new record, but it really has the same sound while moving forward, which is really cool. Yeah, also, I, I, it's interesting what you say about the African rhythms because we feel that the trend is going there mm -hmm. to just these roots, roots, <laughs> roots, like the pretty basic African rhythms. We kind of started with cumbia because it's what happens here in Mexico, but it just goes back, back, back to African music and that's what we are trying to focus now. And we see it happening in a lot of bands like Dengue, 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 or Chancha, or the Freak Stylers, or Sistema Ron. Solar. Even yeah. even Diplo and Major Laser are just going to for the African thing, and it's really cool for us because we we both are percussionists, so we just love hitting things. So <laughs> Afri African music, it's all about the drums and yeah, it's in our blood. <laughs> yeah, and this natural sound. So that's what we are trying to explore more in, in the music that we are making now. Very, very cool. And you have a new record in the works. Yeah. yeah. And as you said, during the live session, you have 30-some songs already Yeah, ready. we have 35, but... The process is to pick the ones you like? Yeah. yeah. I think by, by now we have nine that we love. Mm -hmm. Now our goal is to have 11, 
and yeah because so we have been working, working with Visitante from Calle 13 mm -hmm. and he is right now like doing a selection of songs that they are like the, the cool ones and we want to uh, open the files and see what's happening like what's going to happen with them so we are going to Puerto Rico to to tape everything just, just ne um, next month we are going yeah. there to start the recordings because right now we've been working like long distance yeah and it's really exciting for us to go to the, the land of reggaeton and see <laughs> <laughs> that place. because <laughs> o obviously we, we love percussion and african rhythms and but we are as white as we can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, we don't play better than Puerto Ricans. Yeah, so we are just looking for some things that we can't actually do, but we love to incorporate to the record. And I think yeah. that the vision of, of Eduardo Visitante is going to make this bigger because he's been working this fusion of Latin rhythms with electronic music and for at roots. least 15 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's different because he's making beats for for his brother, for Residente, and it's mostly hip hop. But this intention of fusing Latin with electronics has been there since the first album. Yeah. How did so you connect with Visitante? It's, um, it's funny because... <laughs> yeah, we, we were working one uh, song last year that was from Corona. Mm -hmm. And was because we have for, a... For the beer? Yeah, but no, uh -huh. because of an earthquake that happens here uh, like last year. Yes, uh -huh. So we made a song that is like from Mexican spirit and how we are like really unique when we have problems and when we have a lot of another stuff <laughs> like yeah, it, it, hard it, stuff. The, the song was sponsored by by the by the brand beer. And yeah, they brought Visitante to work with us. Ah. He was the producer. But it's funny because we became instant friends just because he's a geek just like us. Yeah. And we were playing <laughs> Mario Kart and we played Mario Kart like for a week and. He didn't want a single race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was really mad because, yeah. because I, I think he, he's he's a gamer from from heart. Mm -hmm. So he's been coming back to Mexico and he just called us like, hey, let's meet and play. I'm <laughs> gonna win right now. Yeah. And so yeah. we, uh, I think that's like more important for us, like before the music, to just be friends with the people that that we work. And I think we are in that point where where we can just talk directly about the things we love and and I think that's very positive in the creative process mm -hmm. yeah. plus we really admire the guy <laughs> very cool um, one thing I noticed from the earthquake is how the Mexicans just really came together yeah I mean everyone always wants to help out when there's disasters but it seemed like literally people came out of their houses to yeah everyone was in, get in, in lines the street and, and like, help yeah everyone was in the street like helping and bringing stuff so it was like pretty awesome to see that people was like really connected mm -hmm. yeah. it was it, it was really crazy because as, as i will tell what was telling you before everything in mexico happens in this just tiny space and just here where we are like two blocks from here there was a building that fell down i i, I think this this area was the most affected by by the earthquake and it was weird just to just go Go, go out to the streets and just see chaos all around you. But it was pretty amazing that no one just to stay there, like, I don't know what to do, everyone. Yeah. The second it happened, everyone was outside, just trying to figure out how they could help. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with no, me thank today. you. No, it's awesome. <laughs> I really appreciate you doing the live session, and I, I really love what you guys do. And, no, and it's, we it's hope an to be in, in Seattle again because we love it. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. As everyone, I'm pretty sure it's telling you guys, we uh, we we all in Mexico love the KXP. I, I've been watching the, the other sessions, and everyone is just like, you can see in their so faces excited. how excited they yeah. are for making the session. So we are really grateful for you guys coming here and just yeah, showing like this to the world. When you have a band and you, or you like a band, the first thing that you do is go into YouTube mm -hmm. and see like the KXP. So, and what's yeah. been cool for us here in Mexico is yeah. <laughs> seeing the like-minded people who are just as excited about music and um, sharing other bands and collaborating. And it's really cool to see music lovers around <laughs> the globe, especially in such a, a great music scene. Yeah, and I, I think 
we are one of those bands that are really lucky because we've been able to go to Chile, Peru, Colombia. Doesn't happen that often, and, and it's really cool to see how different musical scenes are. So it's really cool that you guys are just trying to go everywhere in the world, like Anthony Bourdain style. That's <laughs> 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 also we put. Day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.